Hello guys, some time ago I published a video about three level dependent dropdowns with Livewire. And it was a create form for creating a house with three dropdowns, country, state and city. And I received a comment and question how to deal with edit form. Because in this example it was a fresh form, so it looks like this. So whenever you choose a country there appears a state dropdown which is empty unless you choose United States and then you have states and then you have cities. And that works pretty well when you have the create form and in the live wire component on the GitHub. It's all kind of empty states. So empty states and cities, country all. And then on the update of the country or state, we refresh the drop downs and show them. Now how to deal with that in edit form. For example, you want to edit the house and you have the city ID. How to show those three drop downs with correct countries and states and the city selected. And this is how it works now, the updated version. I load the country, state and city and I can pass a parameter of selected city equals one for example. And that one should come from your object. So how city ID it would be in my case. But that is optional and if you don't pass that parameter it means that it's a create form. Otherwise in mount method we have this. So selected city is null by default and by default we load the same empty states and we also have a new variable called selected city. And then if that selected city is not null, then we load that city from the database with state and country and both of them are belongs to relationship. So in the model you have city belongs to state and then state belongs to country. So we load all the cities for the state, we load all the states for that country and then we set the selected country and selected state variables. And in the blade of Livewire component, we show the states drop down only if the country is selected, which it is in our case. And we show the cities list only if the state is selected, which it is in our case. And all we need to do here is do wire model to selected city, wire model to selected state, and wire model to selected country. And all those three variables will come from here, selected country, selected state, and selected city. So this is how it works in edit form. And you can reuse that component to create or edit form just by passing the parameter in here without parameter it's a create form with parameter it would be edit form and this is the visual result if we refresh the page with parameter one as you can see we didn't load the country or the state but they are suggested automatically alaska and united states and they come from the selected properties from wire model as i said i will push that code to the same repository the link is in the description and if you have any more questions about live wire or different topics shoot in the comments or shoot me a personal email and I'll try to help you. See you guys in other videos.